Hey everyone, it's Matt again, and today I'm going to show you how to make an 18 foot counter cable. So to get started with this 18 foot counter cable, what you're going to want to do like always is make sure we have all of our components. So we have two 7 8 18 hex nuts, two 445 ferrule housings, and two 150 core 187 tang tips. Now these are going to get mounted onto our 18 foot cable, so let's get started with the casing. Cut your casing to the appropriate length. Grind the ends smooth. Now that our casing's all cleaned up, let's get the ferrules put on. Now because these are going to be a nut on both ends, it doesn't matter which one we pick, but we're going to just slide on our nut first and then our ferrule. Make sure the threading goes on the right way. For your ferrule, what you want to do is make sure it doesn't go much further than this. That way you have the maximum amount of contact points for your crimp. Crimp one. Crimp two. That side's all done, and now let's do the other side. Just like the opposite side, nut first and ferrule. Crimping pliers again. One crimp. Two crimps. And now the outer casing is complete. So let's get started on the inner core. Now that we have our casing done, we're going to move on to the inner core. So the inner core we're going to use is our 150 and match it up to this 187 tang tip. So what we're going to do is feed this into the casing and because it's 18 feet long, we're going to snip it where it needs to and then we'll trim it down and attach to the other end. Now, so let's get started. Take our crimping pliers, crimp on our end like so. Now to feed this inner core into the cable. Now because this is 18 feet long, I do have this draped across several benches down the line here, just so I can get it laid out straight and get the right length. Um, it's not a perfect solution, but you kind of work with what you got, don't you? Run the inner core until you come out on the other side and then trim up accordingly. So now that our inner core is run as much as it needs to, we're gonna trim it up on this end so we get the right length. Now to make sure everything is fitting properly before we crimp it, we're going to check this side and check the other side just to make sure the tips are sticking out the right length. And then we can crimp our side of the cable on this end. So we've test fit everything, everything's the right length, so now it's time to crimp on our other tip on the other side of the casing. And then this cable is ready for grease and then final testing. So let's get that started. Give the cable a nice crimp. Like so. Now this cable is ready for grease and let's get that going. So as we get about halfway down, because of all the grease, you're going to feel some genuine resistance trying to get this fed into the core. Uh, there's nothing wrong with anything. It's just everything's gripping and now everything's warm and lubricated. So it's a little stiff at first and that's why on these long cables, we run them on a little machine first to make sure everything's all greased up. So let's get that started. Get another hand fill going. Now that we've got this inner core greased and inside the casing, it's time to give this a nice quick turn just to make sure nothing is binding and then this customer is ready to pick up. And there you have it, an 18 foot long mechanical counter cable. And because this is going to be used in the oil fields, this end of the cable, or this end, it doesn't really matter, they're both the same size, uh, will be hitched up to a Vitaroot mechanical counter, and the other side will be hitched, hitched up to uh, whatever kind of machine the uh, wireline truck is using at the time. And that's it for this video. Uh, we're going to have another new video again next week on um, what i'm not too sure yet kind of all depends on what comes in if you have any questions or comments leave them in the comments section below as always like and subscribe and we'll see you again next time thanks for watching